welcome back to the Fatfish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and in this video we're going to be talking about guitar pickups, specifically issues to do with noise coming from them and it was inspired by a question I was asked by another guy called Dave asking me if I had the wiring diagram for some Seymour Duncan hot rail for tele pickups. Basically he's got a set in his guitar and it's having some problems with a bit of noise. Now, Seymour Duncan Hot Rail for Tele pickups I am very familiar with. They're what I have fitted in this guitar. It's the one that I've built myself, ash bodied uh, thin line of Tele, with some Hot Rail for Tele pickups from Seymour Duncan in there. Now, when you buy those pickups, they should come with a piece of paper, which is the wiring diagram. If, Dave, if you haven't got that, it's freely available from the Seymour Duncan website. I'll put a link in the information section down there. The Seymour Duncan uh, wiring diagrams, they are pretty easy to follow, actually they're nice and clear. Uh, so it's, it's if you handy with the soldering iron and, and, and that and you're confident in what you're doing, not, not a difficult thing to do. Sometimes the, the wire coming out of these pickups can be a little bit fiddly because there's, there's actually like five cores to it. Um, but if you take your time and you're careful, you should be okay. If you're not, uh, a guitar technician at your local guitar store should be able to do the job for you. Now, if you are finding that there's a little bit of noise there, there's a few things you can try. First off, look at your wiring, look at that diagram, check that everything's connected okay. But to be honest, if you've got the guitar all plugged in and you're getting sound from the bridge pickup, and you're getting a sound from the neck pickup, which is different, put that into the middle position where you've got both together, and you're getting three distinct sounds, then the wiring's okay. You've got the bridge, you've got the neck, and you've got the two together. Bridge should be that little bit brighter. The neck should be that little bit more bassy, a bit more rounded. That's okay. Now, if you're getting noise, possible causes of that. These are humbucking pickups. They the fit very nicely into a single coil sized aperture, but if you look closely, there's two blade magnets there. Each one of those is, is individually run with the coil and they're wired up as humbuckers gives you that characteristic fat humbucker sound. But the way the pickups are made, you can split these into single coil pickups, what, what we call coil splits, where you take one of the coils out of the circuit, and that gives you a more um, uh, more bright, slightly glassier sort of sound, which a lot of people like. But the reason that humbucking pickups with two coils were invented was to get around the problem that you have with single coil pickups in that they are inherently noisy. It's not a, a fault so much of a single coil pickup, it's just the way that they work. Now it might be, depending on how your guitar's wired, you've actually put a little micro switch or there's a push-pull pot uh, somewhere that allows you to switch the pickups between full humbucking or coil split uh, single coils. Based on the wording of your question, I'm going to guess that you haven't done that and you're expecting these to work as like full fat humbuckers all the time. That said, it is possible for a manufacturing defect to creep in where one of these coils just isn't working. That's exactly the problem I had with the neck pickup on this particular guitar. Um, got everything wired up, it was all working. I had different sounds when I had the pickup selector in the bridge, the middle and the neck. But the neck pickup was a little bit brighter than I was sounding. A brighter sounding than I was expecting and turned out that the pickup was only working on one coil. Now you can test if pickups are working by just tapping, lightly tapping the magnets with uh, something like a screwdriver and you'll get a really percussive boom sort of sound through the, uh, through the, the amplifier. The problem with these pickups, well, well a lot of humbuckers, but specifically with these because I think it's crammed into a single coil sized slot just tapping one magnet it's enough to kind of induce um, something in the other that just by tapping them you can't tell if one coil's working or not my particular case one of these coils wasn't working tapping it with a, um, a screwdriver it still sounded like it was working the real test was to plug something in like a multimeter so if you've got something like this you can put the probes against the uh, against the pickup uh, pickup wires and measure the DC resistance. The DC resistance for hot rail for tele pickups should be like this. Different pickup types will vary, so don't take this as a, um, a specific value for if you've got like PAFs or super distortions or anything like that. Different pickups will vary, uh, but uh, if you're 
using hot rail for tele pickups, and that's what the reading should be. If one of those readings is noticeably lower, then that's a chance uh, indication that the guitar pickup is working in a, as a single coil. And because it's working as a single coil, you will get that characteristic single coil hum. It's a defect on the pickup, you need to take it back and get it swapped for uh, one that works properly. So assuming that your pickups are working properly as humbuckers and you're still getting noise, the most likely issue there is uh, some sort of earthing issue. Every part of the guitar needs to needs to go cleanly to earth. Uh, again, this is something you can check with your wiring, make sure that you've got you've got clean connections um, and so on. There's a, a thing that you can often miss on Telecaster pickups, and that is the ground wire that goes from the bridge plate to ground. The reason this often gets missed is traditional Telecaster pickups have a metal plate on them. So the metal plate is attached to the bridge plate with a metal screw, and then the bridge plate itself is attached to the, the saddles and the strings and so on. So you think the strings are then earthed through the saddles to the bridge plate, to the screw, to the metal plate on the bottom of the pickup, and then that goes to ground. Pickups like these have a plastic plate on the bottom which means there's no electrical uh, contact between the bridge plate itself and the pickup where it goes to ground. So you need a wire, there's a wire underneath the bridge plate here that goes, goes directly to ground. So you need to make sure that you've got a clean electrical connection from the bridge plate to ground. That often gets missed on, uh, on tele pickups. As I say, check your wiring diagram, it should be shown on there, uh, so make sure that that's, in, that's included. It looks a bit weird because you know, well, why is it got from the bridge, there's nothing electrical on this piece of metal. It's not so much for um, the sound coming from the pickups and, and that, it's about uh, getting, a, uh, getting a ground. You'll notice if you have the, the volume of the guitar turned up, particularly if you've got um, some, some gain in your sound, you might get a buzz. If you then touch the strings, if that, that noise goes away or gets quieter, then what's happening is you're earthing the guitar through yourself, and that's an indication that there's something missing perhaps in the earthing within the guitar itself. Uh, last thing I would suggest you look at is screening. The control cavity uh, and so on should be uh, coated with um, like a, a, an electrical paint. It's a special paint that provides electrical screening, or alternatively it can be lined with something like a copper tape, which is what I, tend to use, what I think I used when I built this guitar. And the idea is it stops any electrical interference uh, coming in from outside. Big culprit for this is uh, fluorescent lighting. If you've got um, fluorescent lighting or even like these low energy light bulbs, which are basically a miniature fluorescent tube, um, that gives off some sort of like uh, electromagnetic interference that the guitar circuitry can pick up and that manifests itself as noise. That sort of um, 50 or 60 cycle hum is more noticeable on single coils, but I have seen it with um, with humbuckers as well. If you've got a particularly badly screened guitar, so check that. One last thing that kind of ties the wiring thing and the earthing thing together is to make sure that you haven't got any loose wires inside the guitar. I, I've seen this on quite a few occasions where you might have a guitar that works fine on the bench, uh, all the electrical connections look fine, put it together, and when you're playing it. Uh, either it suddenly starts getting noisy or signal drops out and gets, gets really weak. What that might be is there's a loose piece of wire which is bare uh, and it's touching against the shielding on the, on, the, on the inside of the guitar and what should be a hot signal is going to earth. So uh, check that you haven't got any loose exposed wires going on uh, inside the control cavity. That's something to check as well. If you're familiar with wiring up guitars, hopefully what I've been talking about makes sense. If not, uh, the guitar tech at your local guitar store should be able to help you. Remember, he's seen hundreds, if not, well, he's probably seen thousands of different guitar wiring looms over the years. He should be able to diagnose any problems that you've got reasonably easily. Um, certainly, I've had a problem with one of my guitars. I looked at and I couldn't see where the fault was. Took it to a local guy, I think he prodded one thing and said, yeah, I know exactly what it is. Go away, have a cup of coffee, I'll get it rewired for you. Um, it was a, one of those things. It was invisible to me, but to a very, very trained eye, it was a really obvious fault. 
yeah, if you persevere, sort out the, the noise issues with your pickups, you're going to have a great sounding guitar. I love the sound of the hot rail pickups. I know when I built this guitar, a couple of people were saying, what, high output humbuckers in a, in a thin line? Are you sure? Yeah, they work really, really well. They're incredibly versatile, and when you, you roll the volume off, it cleans up quite nicely, turn the volume up full, quite high output, so they just give that little bit more push into the gain stage on the amp, and they do sound really, really good. Okay, so I hope that uh, that helps, Dave. If you've got any further questions or anybody wants to ask me questions about whether it's guitar equipment, music theory, guitar playing, anything like that, if you go here, which is what Dave did, just fill in that form, send your question in, and uh, I'll try and get around answering it in a future video. Um, if you like the video, please click like. If you really enjoyed it, please click subscribe and see the other videos that I post onto the channel in the future. You are welcome to leave a comment, but I don't always see the comments that's left on videos, so if you've got a specific question, then use that form. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.